Cities up and down California's coast are banning flavored tobacco products because public health officials say they're targeting minors. Now the question for smokers and smoke shop owners in Kern County is will a similar policy be brought right here? Kern County public health officials say right now they aren't considering a flavored tobacco ban, but they're not ruling it out either. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Platt reports. According to public health officials, the packaging and flavors of these products entice kids to try them. But Ted Sisko, the owner of Ted's Vapor Hut, says plenty of products come in flavors. That doesn't mean they're for kids. If you look at the craft beer market, there's all you know. There's multiple different flavors. Some stores have hundreds of flavors of beer, and you, if you walk down a hard, you know, alcohol, you know, aisle, you're going to find multiple flavors of vodka and so on and so forth. Just like the beer and alcohol industry, smoke and vape shops must adhere to very strict laws. Ted says there's even a law preventing preventing people under 21 from entering his store. However, Assistant Director of Public Health Bryn Kerrigan tells me just because the strict laws exist doesn't mean everyone is following them. In fact, in the last year, more than one in every 10 Kern County tobacco vendors sold to a minor. So we still have a, a willingness for our tobacco facilities to sell to our children in our community. So we have a lot of work to do. With that in mind, Kerrigan says the decision of whether or not flavored tobacco products are banned in Kern County will be left on the shoulders of the retailers. If they follow the rules and don't sell to minors, then public health will not enact a ban, which could severely affect small local businesses. Ted thinks that's perfectly reasonable. It's up to us as business owners to make sure that we are adhering to those regulations and not allowing you know minors to come into our shops. And as long as they do that, Kerrigan says Kern County Public Health will allow the vape shops to continue selling their flavored products just as they do now.